Hello, welcome back. First of all, I spent all day yesterday out in the sunshine, which is why I have this burn line here. I'm really sorry about that, but I really wanted to wear this top. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I am obsessed with this certain Instagram filter. I use it every day. And so I'm going to be trying to make myself look like that Instagram filter without the filter. And I have a photo which I'm gonna go off of basically. Um, and I will put it up on the screen here. And so we can do a little comparison. Obviously it's not gonna look anywhere near like this and I don't do makeup, but I just really wanted to try it for fun because I've tried doing it before and I actually got some messages on Instagram like, I actually thought you were using the filter and you weren't. And I was like, no way. Also, I'm sorry about everyone who's triggered by my last video and said that I stopped the video every 10 seconds. I didn't actually stop the video every 10 seconds. It's just that I cropped out the video, the bits where I was sat there just like watching the video. And also it was already 18 minutes long. So if I had have left those bits in, the video would have literally been 25 minutes. I don't know, but yeah. I'm also gonna be answering some questions that some people sent me on Instagram whilst I do my makeup. I have to put a ton of moisturiser on to use my foundation. So someone asked how shaving my head impacted my feeling of femininity and this is actually a really good question because I definitely feel like I have to dress more feminine now because when I don't I think I feel like I look like a full on man. I did notice when I was putting on like my regular outfits that I looked more manly, <laughs> I don't know. But I think I'm also just getting used to it. It's also just realising that I don't really care what people think I look like. I think the reason why I don't find it that weird yet is because I haven't really had to go anywhere or see anyone. Like none of my friends or anything have like seen me in person with this yet or anything. So it's not like I have to go into uni. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when I actually have to see people other than my family and Isaac. I actually love this foundation. This is Too Faced Peach Perfect and it perfectly matches my fake tan and just like the tan that I will get in summer. So I can wear it like every day and depending on how much I put it on, like it can look really natural and it can look like I'm not actually wearing any foundation. So I actually love this. I wear it in the um, shade Sand. I don't think I want to use concealer just because I use the Tarte concealer and I love this concealer, it works amazing but it's really dry and thick compared to my foundation so it doesn't really mix very well like this. Filter actually isn't even that like dramatic so I feel like this should actually be quite easy to do but I still don't think I'm going to be able to do it very well. I was wearing this NYX lingerie gloss for this photo. So I'm going to put some blush on my cheeks. Loads of people have just said to bleach it and dye it different colours, which honestly I kind of want to do, but I also kind of don't. I'm kind of just liking the way it looks right now. I'm going to use this NYX Bear With Me Hemp Eyebrow Setter. I don't really colour them in or anything. Because I don't pluck them or shape them, they don't really have shapes. Oh yeah, so I forgot to say that this filter is Lil Icy Eyes on Instagram. I'm gonna get my highlight, which is destroyed. Someone's asked, where do you stop your foundation line or do you blend it into your hair? My foundation gets in my hairline really easily and it looks really bad when it does and it's really hard to get it out of my hair um, because my scalp is so pale compared to like my face, so I don't try to put foundation in my scalp but it sometimes just happens and it doesn't look good. I can't actually imagine myself with hair anymore to be honest. Oh, so someone said how do you feel when you take a shower and you don't have to dry your hair and someone else has asked about like how much time do you spend in the shower and stuff. It's literally incredible. My showers are five minutes long. <laughs> I don't even wash it with anything. I've been using like body wash to wash my hair to try and get off my sun cream at the moment because I've been putting like factor 50 on my scalp like five times a day just because I'm really scared of burning it. I'm really scared that if I burnt my scalp my hair follicles might get damaged and then my hair might not grow back. I mean I don't know if that's real but that's just like imagine, imagine, no thanks. So yeah it's really quick, my showers are very fast, I save a lot of time, a lot of water and it's just so easy. I forgot that like 
you used to have to like brush your hair and stuff. I found my hairbrush on my bathroom floor the other day and I was like, I forgot about you. Just won't be using you for a while. Literally won't need a hairbrush now for so long. I mean, unless I use wigs, but. Okay, so next is freckles. I'm kind of scared for freckles because I have never been able to do freckles right. And I don't have, I really want to get that thing freck, which people use on like TikTok. I'm just gonna have to use like an eyebrow pencil, but my eyebrow pencils are flat on the end. So I'm gonna have to use like the corner of it somehow. I saw this trick where this girl did it like on her finger and then she put it on her face. That did nothing. So did I even say that it, what the time is? It was literally eight in the morning. <laughs> Someone said, do you feel a constant breeze? Only when it's breezy, yes. Someone said, has the itchiness and redness gone down? Um, yeah, that literally, it that went away after about half an hour. That was literally just like a shaving rash, I think. Oh my God, also, literally yesterday I shaved my dad's head, but like that was so fun and I'm so glad he caved and did it as well. Now I really want Isaac to do it too. Um, I doubt he will, but maybe if you like bombard the comments. Honestly, I just think it should be something that everyone does. Can you see my freckles? Now I need to do the eyes, which I've been just putting off this whole time. This is the main part of this look and it's also that's it's gonna go really wrong looking forward to that i have these wispies is it ardell ardell wispies i'm gonna try using these i'm gonna do a bit of like brown eyeshadow underneath my eyes i'm gonna put like a bit of brown on my eyelid as well just to like make them less light this is where it all goes wrong i have such hooded eyes Ugh. It's terrible. <laughs> how bad does that look? Okay, so I've literally just been messing around with eyeliner for god knows how long now. I've literally fucking ages and I don't even know why I'd bother because I'm literally about to put fake eyelashes over the top anyway, so what's the point? They look terrible. I know, I don't care. Um, they're odd. I know. I don't care. I'm just gonna stick these lashes on and be done with it because I'm so fed up. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can put eyelashes on. <laughs> I hate eyeliner so much. I hate people that look good in eyeliner. I hate people that look natural in eyeliner. No, I'm kidding. I just wish that they could come over and do my eyeliner for me. It's actually one thing I'm really jealous of is people who can look okay in loads of makeup. Because I think when I wear loads of makeup, I look really gross and like I just look like I'm wearing loads of makeup but there are some people who like people like makeup artists who put on loads of makeup and go out in it I think they look really good if you can hear snoring by the way that's Sally she's passed out on my floor <laughs> oh I need to curl my eyelashes oh so much to do okay I've curled those eyelashes I'm gonna quickly put this on I really need to get those magnetic eyelashes I saw, I was watching Jenna Marvel's video where it was like, get ready with me to go nowhere. And she had those magnetic eyelashes and they just, they're just what I need. I never wear fake eyelashes. I just bought these literally to look like this Instagram filter. If anyone knows where I can actually get those magnetic lashes, let me know. All the other questions are like telling me that I should shave my head with a razor, which I don't really want to do. Not really. And someone said, do you have any regrets? No. And then loads of people have said, diet, cheetah print. Tempting. I'm so down to try wigs. I just can't really put them on very well. Like it's quite a tech, you need like the technique to put it on. Okay, I'm gonna go for a week. Okay, so both eyelashes are just about on. I'm just going to put some mascara on. I really don't like the way I look with fake eyelashes on. I think I just look like I'm wearing too much makeup. If you look really closely, you can see the gap between my eyelashes and my fake eyelashes, which is like slightly triggering, but it's fine. I'll put the photo up here just so you can compare. I'm like looking at the camera like this in the selfie. Honestly, it looks nothing like it, but <laughs> oh well. I don't look like the instagram filter but i did my makeup and it was good fun enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed it too 
if you saw my Emma Chamberlain video that I did like two weeks ago or something, you have seen these jeans already. But I'm literally so proud of them and I'm going to show you them now. Look! Um, I'm so chuffed. I, in case you missed that video, I, uh, these jeans were like all this colour and I basically bleached this leg so that they're half and half. And they look so good. Um, these jeans definitely fit me a lot better before lockdown, but I have to say that I've been eating a lot more recently and exercising less, so yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. Bye.